Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can zoom into different parts of the photo rather than just the center and explain the anchor point tool. So whenever you have a clip on the timeline, you'll always see these basic parameters in the effects control panel, such as the position, scale, rotation, and one of those is the anchor point. So you might be familiar with this. So if you ever have your selection tool active and you highlight the anchor point or whatever parameter and you're in the program window, you should see the little blue outlines come about and you see that traditionally the anchor point is right in the center. So that means if I were to increase the scale, we're zooming right into that center anchor point. Now, if you ever wanna reset any of these parameters, just hit this little reset parameter button on the right side. But what happens if we want to zoom into the corner or somewhere else but the center? So the anchor point does give you the X and Y parameters just like the position. But if I were to use the parameters, for example, move the X over to the left and move the Y up to like the horizon, we'll see that since the position didn't change, we kind of get out of frame. And it does scale into that new anchor point, but I also need to move my position back over so that we're kind of back in frame, so to speak. But a quick tip I'm gonna show you on how to do this is if I just reset everything back to normal, is if you just have your selection tool active and you're in the program window, you can simply drag that anchor point around and you'll notice the, the video still stays in frame because if you watch in the effects control panel, when you do it this way, it'll automatically adjust the position and the anchor point so that it stays in frame. So now if I move the anchor point somewhere else and I zoom in, for example, we have this new anchor point. This can also be useful for rotation. If I put the anchor point in this corner and I rotate, we're, you see we're rotating along that anchor point rather than the center as it traditionally is, like this. So this can be useful for different effects or transitions and just in general for when you want to zoom in to one part of the image. That's probably the most standard case. As a quick side note, there are other effects in the effects panel, such as the magnify effect in the distort panel, which also allow you different options for kind of zooming into stuff or magnifying. So the magnify has like the circle option, which I can increase the size and scale of, and I can also sort of drag this, this around like so and, and scale into different parts, but that's more like a magnification rather than a zoom of the entire clip. And remember, you can also use this same concept for when you're working with text or graphics. So if I happen to have a shape box, that shape will also have its own properties and its own anchor point. So I can move the anchor point of the shape in different positions and scale and rotate the shape in different ways. So this can come in really handy. It is very basic. You're probably familiar with it somewhat, but hopefully this gave you some tips on how to use it with the selection tool and more intuitively. So if you enjoyed this video, check out my channel for more. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.